Hello everyone, my name is Joel and this is my second video reviewing the things that we did in week one. Um, this is for your online course and as you may remember we are studying ETWRT001 produce written work for different purposes of audience and context. And it's part of the 10291 NAT Certificate 2 in Core Skills for Education, Training and Employment Pathways. So the book that we're doing is Book 1, Writing for Different Purposes. So we're looking at the different reasons that you'd be writing. And today's activity is Activity 2, which is reading the biography of Grace and the photo I found of Grace. So this is the biography. I put some question marks up here because aside from this information up here, it's more of a recount of the event where she became a hero. Um, there should be, I think, more biographic information, but Bearing in mind, I guess, that that's what she was mainly famous for. But as we'll see later, she is a heroine in Western Australia and more is known about her. So looking at the story in the book, in class we identified some new words. Geographic Bay in Western Australia. If, if Perth's here, this is this is Western Australia. It's just down the bottom where the land juts out, south of Perth. We look at the saddle. This is the saddle, and then it talk, talks about saddle leathers. So these are the saddle leathers here. Also stirrup leathers. These are the stirrups here. And these are this gallop. We were talking about galloping or the horse when it's they're running very fast. Steamship. So it's a ship that's powered by steam rather than so it doesn't sail. And this is Austral Australasia. So it's Australia, New Zealand. The islands and things around here, atolls, and Papua New Guinea, also main island of here. So you can see all the parts of the world. And a stockman is an Australian stockman. It's sort of like a cowboy. All right, so there's some questions. So how old was Grace? We can read by the, in the article to find the answers. No doubt we've already done that because we did, we did it and in week one. So you probably got your answers. So just checking that they're correct here. So she was 16. Uh, it wasn't a sailing ship, it was a steamship. Did Grace live in the town of Bustleton? No, she lived near there. And uh, how far did she ride? 13 kilometers. Two ways Grace rescued the children. So some of them held onto her saddle and the others held onto the, her stirrups and saddle leathers. Write one word that means grab hold of this was interesting, so I'm not sure whether they're looking where this question is looking for you to go to a dictionary or something, and if that's the case, like a thesaurus or a dictionary, we would use the words grasp, fees, as one word that has the meaning grab hold of. Was Grace worried about her own safety? No. We know that because it says without thinking about the danger to herself. Was Grace's horse strong? I'd say it was. It ran 13 kilometers and then worked for four hours in the strong, 
pounding surf. So it would have been big waves hitting the shore and would have had all that pe those people grabbing onto as well. So it would have been a strong animal. Rescued for four hours. And uh, who else helped Grace? The stockman Sam Isaacs. And this is the only mention of Sam in the story, and that's that actually inspired me to research a little bit further. We'll talk about Sam later. How many people drowned? Eight. And how many were saved? More than 40. Okay, so as I mentioned, I was interested in this story a bit, and as I was searching the internet, I found this article at the Huffington Post, just a warning to um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that the next slide has a picture of a deceased Aboriginal man. So if you don't want to see a picture of, of a deceased, like a, a man who has de who has passed away, not like a corpse, but photo of what he looked like when he was alive so one thing i found out was interesting with this article is it said that grace bustle was australia's first national heroine after helping sam isaacs right so she helped him that sam isaacs was an aboriginal stockman and that Sam had noticed a shipwreck when he was riding by and went back to the homestead to let everybody know Grace wanted to go and see. Of course, they both um, helped rescue the people, but I think the previous story didn't really mention Sam Isaac's contribution. And, and this article says that 12 people lost their lives. So Sam Isaac's. So unfortunately, it was barely mentioned in the original version, but um, one thing that I also found interesting was that both Sam and Grace were awarded bravery medals, but that Grace received the silver while Sam received the bronze. People argue that Sam deserved the silver too because they both um, lived their lives and he was then awarded a silver and given a hundred acres of crown land. So that's a good story for Sam Isaac and his family. And not forgetting Grace Russell, who went on to live to 75 years old and um, had, uh, was a very famous person. In Western Australia. So I hope you've enjoyed this look into biography writing um, and you will try to write another short biography based on um, a famous person that you are interested in and you'll be given another biography about Yvonne Gulagon Crawley to read and answer questions for and submit for homework and that um, will include writing a short biography on a famous sports person or other person that you um, admire. So I hope you enjoy doing that and I will see you in class. If you have any questions about this reading please see me um, in class or by email or um, on thanks for watching bye bye